After the initial shock wears off, a lot of people who have been injured, sickened, or have, had, have lost a loved one often wonder, do I have a case? To break it down really simply, to have a personal injury case, you need two things, liability and damages. Liability is a legal concept that someone else is responsible for something that happened to you. So generally this means that someone else was either negligent or intentionally tried to harm you. Sometimes though, the other person doesn't need to mean to do anything wrong, but the law still holds them responsible. This is called strict liability. This is most common with defective products or dog bites. The next thing that you need is damages. Sometimes this is really obvious, an injury, something like a broken bone. Sometimes it can be things like emotional distress, or in the case of wrongful death, the loss of a loved one. Common personal injury case types. The most common kind is a motor vehicle accident. This includes regular car accidents, trucking accidents, four-wheelers, snowmobiles, anything like that, pedestrians being struck by vehicles. Another common kind is slip and fall cases or other kinds of premises liability. There's also medical malpractice, product liability suits that are um, brought for defective products, dog bite cases, emotional distress, and assaults. If you're wondering if you have a case, you should talk to a lawyer today. Hiring a lawyer at the outset will allow them to investigate the case and preserve evidence that could help you later on. A lot of people have heard that lawyers are expensive and so they hesitate to reach out after they've been injured. Many personal injury attorneys offer free consultations to let you know if you do have a case. If you do have a case, most personal injury lawyers work on what's called a contingent fee rather than an hourly rate. It's called a contingent fee because the amount that the lawyer is paid depends on the total value of your settlement or jury verdict. Usually you pay nothing up front and nothing if you lose. In addition to the lawyer's fees, the costs associated with bringing a personal injury claim, things like uh, medical record expenses or hiring an expert witness, are deducted from the total value in addition to the lawyer's fee. If you're wondering what a specific lawyer charges, you should contact them directly. Bringing a personal injury claim is not a one-size-fits-all process. How it turns out depends a lot on what happened and who is responsible. A lot of times if you hire a lawyer, it can be resolved informally between you, your lawyer, and the person or company responsible and their lawyer or insurance company. If this happens, you won't need to go to court. If that doesn't work or is for some reason not feasible for your case, the next step is usually filing a lawsuit. If this happens, you may be asked to give a deposition, which is recorded questions under oath, usually taken in a lawyer's office. If you file a lawsuit, you may still settle at this stage. In Minnesota, courts require what is called alternative dispute resolution, usually a mediation where a third party neutral helps facilitate settlement discussions between you and the other side. If that doesn't work and you go to trial, you will need to appear in court. How your case unfolds is very specific and you should talk to a lawyer to figure out what will work best for you. Statutes of limitations are time limits that control how long you have to bring a personal injury case. These vary greatly by the kind of case and the state you live in or where it happened. This is another reason to contact a lawyer soon, because once the time expires, you won't be able to bring a case. A lot of clients that call us are burdened by a lot of medical bills. 
Unfortunately, a lawyer can't ethically front you the money while a claim is pending under the Minnesota Rules of Professional Conduct. However, if you do hire a lawyer, they may be able to work with your health insurance company, car insurance companies, if that applies, or medical providers to avoid payment while the claim is still in progress. To figure out if this is possible, you should talk to your lawyer. A lot of people want to know, what's my case worth? Because every case is different, we can't provide you an accurate estimate of what yours is worth. However, damages are something that the law provides for as compensation for what happened to you if you're injured. The first kind of damages that you can recover are economic damages. These are things for past and future medical expenses and wage loss. The next kind of damages are non-economic damages. These you can't put a dollar figure on. This is for pain and suffering that you went through as a result of being hurt. Finally, in some rare cases, punitive damages are awarded. Punitive damages are meant to punish a defendant and deter other people from doing the same thing. These are only awarded when somebody shows deliberate disregard for the rights or safety of others. To find out what kind of money you might be able to, it, to collect, call a lawyer today.